Welcome to a new perspective on success, one that might seem counterintuitive, yet profoundly powerful. In a world where we're often told that relentless effort and constant hustling are the keys to success, there exists a contrasting philosophy, the art of not trying. Imagine if you could achieve more by doing less, by allowing things to happen naturally rather than forcing them. Sounds too good to be true, right? Yet, this is the essence of a philosophy practiced by one of history's most famous samurai, Miyamoto Musashi. Musashi, a warrior and philosopher, demonstrated through his life that not trying or allowing things to happen organically can lead to remarkable outcomes. His swordsmanship, his strategic acumen and his way of life all bear testament to this principle. This isn't about promoting laziness or lack of effort, but rather about embracing an approach of focused ease, releasing the tension of overstriving, and letting your actions flow naturally. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through Musashi's philosophy, exploring what it truly means to master the art of not trying and how you can incorporate this into your own life. Miyamoto Musashi, born in 1584, was a legendary samurai who left a lasting impression on the world with his exceptional skills in martial arts and his profound philosophy. Often revered as the greatest swordsman that ever lived, Musashi was undefeated in 61 duels, a feat that speaks volumes about his mastery of the sword. But Musashi wasn't just a samurai. He was also a revered philosopher, artist, and writer. His works, especially The Book of Five Rings, offer profound insights into strategy, combat, and philosophy. His teachings have been studied not only by martial artists, but also by business leaders and strategists worldwide. One of the core tenets of his philosophy is the idea of non-striving, or the art of not trying. Musashi believed that true mastery comes from a state of relaxed alertness, where one is fully present and engaged, but without unnecessary tension or effort. This principle was clearly manifested in his swordsmanship, where he exhibited flawless precision, timely action, and complete control, all while maintaining an apparent sense of effortlessness. This concept might seem paradoxical in today's fast-paced, high-effort world. Yet, as we delve deeper into Musashi's philosophy, we might discover that this art of not trying could be the missing piece in our pursuit of success and tranquility. In Musashi's teachings, the art of not trying is deeply ingrained, though it might not be explicitly named as such. His philosophy, which underpinned his extraordinary skills as a swordsman, focused on embracing a state of effortless concentration and action. This is exemplified in The Book of Five Rings, where he discusses Mushin, a term from Zen Buddhism that translates to no mind. Mushin describes a state of consciousness where the mind is not fixated or dwelling on anything, allowing actions to flow naturally and effortlessly. For Musashi, this was a key strategy in combat. By freeing his mind from unnecessary thought or tension, he could respond intuitively and effectively to his opponent's moves. Yet the art of not trying extends beyond physical combat. Musashi applied it to various aspects of his life, including his pursuits as a calligrapher and artist. He believed that the act of trying too hard could lead to excessive tension and disrupt the natural flow of action, thereby affecting the outcome. Furthermore, Musashi stressed the idea of Shoshin, or beginner's mind. This Zen concept encourages maintaining an attitude of openness and eagerness, akin to a beginner. In the context of not trying, it means continually approaching tasks without preconceived notions or forced efforts thus allowing for natural and more effective performance. In essence, Musashi's art of not trying speaks to an effortless engagement with the task at hand, an ability to act with spontaneous correctness without being hindered by conscious thought or strained effort. The paradox of effort, a key element in Musashi's philosophy, is a concept that many find counterintuitive. On the surface, it seems contradictory to our deeply ingrained belief that the more effort we put into something, the more successful we will be. After all, we're taught from a young age that hard work and perseverance lead to success. However, Musashi's philosophy challenges this notion. He believed that there's a point where too much effort becomes counterproductive, leading to unnecessary tension, overthinking, and ultimately, less effective performance. This is evident in his mastery of swordsmanship, 
where the most effective actions were those performed naturally and instinctively, without forced effort. Applying this to everyday life, consider a situation where you're trying to impress someone. The more you try, the less authentic and more anxious you might come across, which can be off-putting to others. Similarly, in the professional sphere, trying too hard to achieve a goal can lead to burnout and decreased productivity. This doesn't mean that we should abandon effort altogether, but rather, we need to find a balance. It's about engaging fully with the task at hand, while also letting go of forced effort and overstriving. It's about learning to trust in our abilities and letting our actions flow from a state of calm and centered focus. In essence, the art of not trying suggests that success often comes when we stop pushing so hard, let go of attachment to the outcome, and instead, allow things to unfold naturally. It's a powerful philosophy that can be applied to various facets of our lives. Practical Applications of the Art of Not Trying Applying the art of not trying might seem challenging, especially in a world that often equates effort with success. However, by adopting Musashi's teachings, we can find a more balanced, effortless way to approach our lives. Mindfulness and Presence One of the key principles of Musashi's philosophy is to be fully present in the moment. Rather than forcing yourself to achieve a particular outcome, focus on the process of what you're doing. Engage fully with the task at hand and let the results follow naturally. Trust in your abilities. Musashi was an exemplary samurai because he trusted his skills and instinct. Similarly, trust in your abilities. Recognize that you have the skills and knowledge you need to succeed. This trust can help reduce the perceived need for forced effort. Embrace uncertainty. Often our tendency to try too hard stems from a fear of uncertainty. Instead of striving for control, embrace the uncertainty inherent in life. This acceptance can reduce anxiety and foster a more effortless approach to our tasks and challenges. Let go of perfection. Striving for perfection can often lead to excessive effort and stress. Remember, it's okay to make mistakes. Instead of aiming for perfection, aim for progress and learning. Adopt a growth mindset. Understand that growth and improvement are continuous processes. A growth mindset can help us reduce the pressure we put on ourselves and foster an attitude of effortless striving. By applying these principles, we can learn to embody the art of not trying. The result? Improved performance, less stress, greater satisfaction, and a more harmonious way of living, all while reducing the unnecessary effort and strain that often accompanies our endeavors. The Impact of the Art of Not Trying Embracing the art of not trying, as espoused by Miyamoto Musashi, has the potential to transform our lives in various ways. It shifts our perspective, changes how we approach tasks, and redefines our notion of success. Here are some of the key benefits that can be reaped by incorporating this philosophy into our lives. Greater peace of mind. One of the immediate benefits of practicing not trying is experiencing increased tranquility and peace. When we stop striving for control over every aspect of our lives and instead embrace the natural flow of events, our anxiety levels can drop and we're likely to enjoy a calmer, more serene state of mind. Enhanced Performance Ironically, by not consciously striving for success, we may actually find ourselves performing better in various fields. Whether it's in our careers, personal projects, or even hobbies, the state of effortless action allows us to engage more fully with the task at hand and often leads to superior results. Improved Relationships the art of not trying can also be applied to our interpersonal relationships. When we stop trying to force our expectations onto others and accept them as they are, our relationships can become more harmonious and satisfying. Richer life experience. Living life in a state of non-striving allows us to be more present and engaged in every moment. This can lead to a richer, more fulfilling life experience as we're able to appreciate the journey, not just the destination. Personal growth. Finally, embracing the art of not trying doesn't mean stagnation. On the contrary, it fosters personal growth. By releasing the need to always try, we open ourselves up to learning, growth, and the opportunity to cultivate wisdom through our experiences. Through these benefits, 
we see that the art of not trying is not about passivity, but about engaging with life in a more balanced, harmonious way. Embracing the philosophy of not trying, as exemplified by Miyamoto Musashi, can lead to a radical shift in how we navigate our lives. It invites us to let go of the constant striving that characterizes so much of our daily existence and instead engage with life in a more relaxed, harmonious way. There is a profound wisdom in the teachings of Musashi that remains as relevant today as it was hundreds of years ago. Remember sometimes, the greatest effort lies in learning not to try.